In this video we will be describing how to set up a spectrophotometer to record activity assays. First we will need to set the software into kinetics mode. This is done by clicking on the mode icon at the top and selecting kinetics. Once you've entered kinetics mode you will need to set up your protocol. Do this by clicking on setup next to time and calculation in the upper left hand side of the screen. You will need to change the recorded wavelength to 340 nanometers. That's the absorbance maxima for NADH which we will be measuring during the LDH assay. Next you will need to set the runtime. You can either set the runtime to a full minute 60 seconds or you can set it to a half minute 30 seconds. But it is important to make sure that the cycle time located two slots below the runtime is set to one second. We must now blank the instrument. You can either use an empty cuvette, a cuvette with buffer in it, or just air. It doesn't matter since we're collecting the change in absorbance over time and not an actual absorbance value. Once the blank profile has appeared, you can close it. For kinetics assay, we will not be using the sample button. Instead, we will be hitting the time-based management button. This will bring up a completely different screen, as you'll see in a minute. Unfortunately, at this point, it has asked us to save the file. We don't wish to save the file. Therefore, we'll hit Cancel and go up to Method and select Options and Info and unclick the Auto Save button. Then click OK. Now we can click on time-based measurement. This box will always appear because the shutter will stay open during the entire assay. That's because we have a one second cycle time. This is okay. It is important before you perform the assay that you have the computer set up so that all you have to do is hit the start button. As soon as you've loaded your enzyme into the cuvette, the reaction will begin taking place. So you must have it ready so that you can click this button directly after you've pipetted your enzyme into the cuvette. To deliver the enzyme into the cuvette, you will, in one smooth motion, pipette directly into the liquid in the cuvette and use the plumper in a smooth up-down motion and then remove completely from the cuvette. You will then instruct your lab partner to hit the start button. Once you have pressed the start button, the assay will begin, and for 30 or 60 seconds, the instrument will take a reading every one second. You may be able to see the increase in absorbance at 340 nanometers in the sample spectra window. The time traces window will show you the increase in absorbance as a line over the course of time. After the sample is completed, there will be a pause and a new window will show up. This will show you your actual trace over time. Here you can see that the trace is fairly linear across the entire spectrum. This is what you desire. By double clicking one of the data points you will receive a table of the times and absorbance values. These are the values that you will use to calculate your change in absorbance at 340 nanometers over the course of time. Simple way to do this is to take the entire 30 second span, subtract the 0 second value from the 30 second value, and multiply by 2. This will give you your change in the absorbance at 340 nanometers per minute. Here we see a sample that was too concentrated. The activity is too high. Notice the parabolic nature of the curve. The linear section is very close to the beginning and can't be relied upon for measurement. This sample needs to be diluted in order to be accurately assayed. This graph represents a sample that has little to no activity. Notice that it's a jagged line and that the values are very close together on the absorbance scale. 